single day on this planet, someone is injured or killed by a landmine. Now, removing them is very time consuming and, of course, dangerous. But we found one brilliant inventor who thinks he can approach the situation from the air. Millions of landmines litter the landscapes of war torn countries around the world. Masood Hassani wants to change that. My ultimate personal goal is to destroy all the landmines in the world. Masood, an artist and designer by training, has come up with a revolutionary idea. Call it art in action. The original mine is a wind-powered anti-landmine ball. When it rolls along on a desert, it hits a landmine with its own weight, it destroys the landmine. When we used to play in Afghanistan as kids, we used to collect a lot of garbage materials, put them together, and we made our own toys, basically. So the original Minecraft is inspired by these uh, memories. The goal of his first prototype was to raise awareness about landmines. The mining is still done with a, with a detector held by a person who walks around on the field. So it's very dangerous and also a slow process. Now, Masood is taking mine Cafone up to the next level. With a drone, we can map the whole area much faster, and it's a lot safer, and at the end, it will be also cheaper. This is his newest creation, the mine Cafone drone, able to detect and map landmines from a safe distance away. Mine Cafone drone is a flying robot that hovers over the ground with a metal detector. And if there's a detection, it pinpoints it with the GPS coordinates. He designs and builds the drone back in his studio using a 3D printer and dozens of moving parts. The Minecraft drone is about one meter and 30 centimeters wide. It weighs about five kilograms and the lift is about 15 kilograms. And we are now building also models which can lift up to 25 kilograms. It has a modular base, so we can add different robotics to it, and it has its own mapping platform with extensions. Right now, Masood and his team are working on a robotic arm with sensors to measure distance and a gimbal to help the drone balance. As a designer, you approach problems a little bit different than engineers, for, for example. Of course, we found out there are a lot of challenges, but nothing is impossible. At the moment, we have four prototypes and two working prototypes that we are testing on fields already. Today, we're taking one of those prototypes out for a spin. This is uh, the calibration process. I have to do this before flying, so now we know where we are with the GPS coordinates. First, we will fly with the drone to map the whole area. And after that, we will do a test session with a robotic extension. The drone is very precise in terms of mapping and detection. It's reliable up to four centimeters. Time to add on the drone's new robotic arm. And for this, Masood needs some help. Once we are up in the air, then we can control the robot from the computer. We are going to test if the detector raises and lowers itself. Can you lower it? Yeah, okay, lower, lower. Can you raise it? Yeah, raise, 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 raise. Good, good. This was our very first time flying with the robotic arm. I was expecting it's gonna crash very quickly since the robot arm has its own movement. It's very hard for the drone to stabilize it, but it worked perfectly. In the future, the Minecafone drone will be able to place small detonators on top of the landmines and blow them up from a distance. Masood also hopes to make the drone autonomous, strategically guiding itself over active minefields. Worldwide, uh, at the moment, there are more than 100 million landmines. And every day, there are casualties among kids and civilians. Imagine if you would have hundreds of these drones on a big field. Our goal is to get rid of landmines in 10 years' time. So with the mine drones, that is possible. 